Hey everybody, it's Deb Joy Smeek here from Delight of My Art. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I have another paper pumpkin alternative project for you today. So I got my kit in the mail and I was super excited to open it up. Here are the directions for this month. Spoiler alert. Little birthday pullout cards. They're nice and tall. It's a little bit different shape so I did end up making two the regular way and then I played with a third one. So here's how they go. You get a, some glimmer paper which was fun and then it says come. You get a little pull tab. Come celebrate with me. And then you um, this one's for a party so it comes with little cards you could put on here. You could make all nine of them this way. It comes with enough materials to make nine of them. Or you could send them out like this. Whoops. Mine fell out. If you hold them up straight, I guess they fall out. So they're pretty easy to put back in. Happy birthday to you. So there's that. And then you can put a um, gift card or something right here. There's a little slot for you to do that. And it comes with these nice long envelopes. Here's one that I decorated with the stamps. And then there's a little flap on the side, so it's nice and long. So what I did was I wanted to still have you be able to utilize these long envelopes because I don't know when else you'd be uh, using those. So what I did was made this long card. So this is what I made. And it still has a little pull tab over here and a little spot for a gift card. And then pull, it says, treat yourself, you deserve it. So I thought that was fun. So I'll show you how to put this together. Let's get stamping. Okay, so here are the things that I made with this kit. The directions are here and you can make nine of these cards like I said. So here are the two that uh, are with the directions and then here's the one that I made. So I'll be showing you how to make this. What I did was I took a sheet of 11 by 8.5 piece of paper. I just cut it in half so that um, instead of folding it like normal, the normal way this way, I folded it this way. And it will fit right in the envelope just like that. Actually, we might need to push in this little pull tab just a smidge. So if you wanted to shorten it just a little so you wouldn't have to do that for sending it, you could do that. So um, Then I took the glimmer sheet. Which is so pretty, by the way. I wonder what color this is. I think it must be crushed curry, actually. That's what color the yellow is on this. So what I did was I cut off the top and the bottom and then I cut off the sides so that these pieces would be long enough for me to cut in half too. So I took off, um, you see that there's the flame, the flame shapes and they're all pre-punched so you have nine of them. So I just cut off on my sheet as close as I could get to those shapes so that I could have more glimmer paper to work with. I could actually still cut in between these and have even more of this glimmer paper because I don't want to throw any of this away because it is so pretty. So here's what I did. So I took one of these shorter sides and then I cut it to the length of this, um, which I believe is two and three quarters. I could be wrong. It's it's uh, eleven. It's five and a half divided by two. <laughs> so um, I took took that little strip like this, and then I took it on my paper trimmer and I cut it into three equal little strips. So you could do it, I, I guess, as thick as you want. I just did it. I cut the bottom off and then I cut it into three little strips so that I could use even more of this glimmer paper. Nice and sparingly, right? And then I took one of these flame shapes and then I took my balloon punch, my balloon bouquet punch, which I'm getting lots of use out of. This little balloon right here, this little one, will fit right inside of one of the flame shapes. The big one will not. So what you'll do is when you turn it over, you um, turn this sheet around, you'll be able to get any of them on this side with the flames upside down. 
so you'll be able to just push it in. I did it in this corner. If you wanted to get to the next one, you'd have to cut off this bottom row in order to get to the next one. Or to get to any of these other ones, you'd have to cut these apart. But um, if you do this mm, top left one, I guess, after you trim off the sides, you'll be able to get the small balloon in there. Get the little tip of the balloon into the bottom of the flame and the round part of the balloon into the pointy tip part. So it'll end up looking uh, just like that. So that's how I got this glimmer balloon. So that's those two pieces. This is just some uh, navy, Knight of Navy cardstock. I just punched the bigger balloon with that. I used the ink that came with this kit, the Island Indigo and the Flirty Flamingo. Um, in here, I put the Flirty Flamingo inside to celebrate and then the Island Indigo little stamps right there. All of these stamps came in this set. I used some Pool Party cardstock, some Na Knight of Navy cardstock, and some Whisper White cardstock. So that's the only cardstock pieces that I used. This piece right here where the card is in comes in the kit. Again, the, this is the, the pool tab for the regular pieces just like this. Um, and it already has these little slits cut out for a card to go into. So what I did is cut off the tab, cut off an even amount on the other side to match, and then I cut off a one inch strip from what was left. So I had, you know, this whole piece left and then I cut off one inch of that. So that is my tab right here. Right here, this is just a one inch strip. And in order to adhere this little card piece to the paper, I just put adhesive, snail adhesive. I put this on the back. I just had it sitting, not on the back of the card, but on the back of this little piece of cardstock. I just had that little one inch strip you know, imagine this is one inch, sitting there and then I just put snail adhesive all around it without touching the card and then as it was like poking out I just put it right on the card so that way I have a spot that's not doesn't have adhesive on it so that this can go in and out but it can't go any further in, not too far because I don't want to lose it in there and I don't want the person that's getting this to lose their little thing so I did put a strip right uh, right where I wanted that to stop so I would know it would not get lost in there. Um, this little gold thread here came in last month's paper pumpkin if you have any extra from the little bags, these cute little Valentine's bags that we got with the gold thread. Um, if you have any of that left over you can use it on this card or you can get it from the annual catalog. It's near the back with all the other embellishments. Um, and then this ribbon right here is part of the celebration items that you can get for free with a qualifying order. So this is the gold one to match the rest of this gold stuff. And it's just a little piece of that. It's, it's really pretty ribbon. I just love that. This card is so shiny. So I'll show you how I did this little cake piece because that's the most confusing I think about this whole thing that I did. So let me show you. I'll clear off my workspace here. Okay, so here are the pieces that come in this kit. It comes with three of each of these colors and they make the little envelopes or the little folded cards for your little slide out things. What I did was took the navy one and then I chopped it up. So you see here I've got these candles, which I thought looked like candles. Um, I took them from right here, uh, and there's a score line right here. So what I did was I just, I um, chopped, excuse my phone, I'll put the pieces back where I chopped this off. Let's see here, put this back together. Ooh. It's like a puzzle. I'm doing a puzzle. And I don't have all of the pieces, but anyway. So I took the cake part from right here. So that's this part. And then I took a strip. I just cut straight along this edge of the window cutout. 
all the way down and then I cut along the top of this as far as I could um, up as far as I could where it wouldn't get any of the navy in there. You see I cut really close to that and just got a big strip of yellow. So here's what I have left of the yellow. And then I just took that and I took my scissors and I wavy cut around one side and then just rounded the corners with my scissors and made kind of little icing on my cake so it would kind of overlap. And so it was pretty simple. I just cut a rectangle out of here, put some icing on there, and then cut a piece of these little candles and stuck it on top. I thought about putting a little pull tab on top of the candles and having those slide in and out. You could do that. That might be fun. Um, so that's how I did that. So tell me what you think about this alternate paper pumpkin project. There's one idea. Treat yourself. You deserve it. Have a good day, guys.